with your host Marina Kufa. You are watching We Got You Media and News of the World live directly from Ventura and I'm here with Captain of Fire Department Steve Concioli. Concioli, correct. Thank you so much for your time. We want to talk a little bit about what is happening in the day six of all those fires that are going on and I see you guys have a little bit under control today the Ohio fire, correct? Right, so Ohio area is okay. So we had Carpentria, they were under an evacuation order and then they were allowed to go back and then early this morning the fire started creeping towards them and they had to be re-evacuated so that's why we're just telling everybody when you're under an evacuation order be patient we're trying to repopulate as as many people as we can but there's a reason that we keep people out for sometimes a day or two or sometimes longer so the goal right now is we're just trying to keep the fire east of highway 154 it is burning towards Carpentria and Montecito, and then it's burning northwest in the Los Padres National Forest. We have a number of firefighters out there. So, you know, currently we have close to 4,500 personnel assigned. As you can see, we have firefighters yeah, from amazing. all over, up and down the state that are, are here that are doing the best. But all incoming resources, they're being directed into the Carpentria, Montecito, and to protect Santa Barbara County. Yes, because all those fires are moving towards Santa Barbara County from right. what I've seen, yeah. And see here the winds erratic. You know, we'll have the, the northeast winds, but then we have onshore mm -hmm. winds. And it, look at right now, just in the, in the a few minutes I that we've been out it. here, it's yeah. moving and then there's gusts that come up. So we want, if, if, if the citizens are given an evacuation order, we would like them to heed that warning for their safety. We already lost one person on the family early on. Wow. Uh, this person was evacuating. They were involved in a traffic accident. The car rolled mm -hmm. over and that person died. It seems like people just want to stick to their property. They don't want to leave. We've seen a lot of videos online. You have a fire all around and there's the person in the middle of a property. So it is important to evacuate. It is. And so we always say, remember, remember the six P's. So grab your prescription medications because often if you leave and you don't have your medications, when you try to go to the pharmacy, you cannot get a new prescription because it's only it's only been with so many mm -hmm. days. So grab your prescription medications, your prescription glasses, your personal computers, all the laptops and I, iPads, all, all your phones, get those. And then make sure you grab your important documents like your passports or any important papers. And then of course grab your pets and grab some food for them and then your photos. So if you remember those six P's and then get out, you can't replace your life. You can replace everything else. Correct. Now let's talk about you guys a little bit because I see firefighters walking with pillows and I bet they work in 24-7 right. and this is day six. Uh, how many of you guys are here and what is the, what do you guys get to sleep actually? Well so firefighters are assigned to, there, there's, there's close to 4,500 personnel here, okay. but you can't work nonstop. You have to be fed. I mean, this is a little city here. And so I mean, the army marches on its belly. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you have to take care. You have to make sure these firefighters drink water and Gatorade and make sure they eat. So they'll be on the line for up to 24 hours at a time, sometimes longer, like the an initial dispatch. Some of these guys have been up for well over 24 hours, but then once ample resources get in, we have to rest them. So sometimes they're here, they're sleeper vehicles here. Um, sometimes they're, they're, they find parks and so forth. A lot of times they sleep on the fire engine. So, but, but these guys, their main job, all these firefighters are to save lives and property and they've saved an awful lot. Um, we do have a total of um, around 750 structures that have been destroyed. And that's from homes, businesses, outbuildings. That's an awful lot. And our heart breaks for, for anybody that's lost a home. Uh, but again, there's been one civilian death and there's been a, a firefighter was injured today, possibly a leg fracture oh, no. um, earlier today. The firefighter was transported to a local facility and being treated and, and, and he's gonna be okay. Well, all the best for the firefighters yes. and for everybody. We really wanna say thank you guys. 
if not of you, you know, it wouldn't be happening. I mean, down in San Diego, in Bonzel, um, there was, uh, you know, close to 500 home, uh, horses that were evacuated and 46 lost their lives. Mm -hmm. And it just, it goes to show you, these fires are fast moving. And so when there's an evacuation order, when you, you get a reverse 911, mm -hmm. or up here there's a VC alert, we want you to heed those warnings and to get out because you, you can't replace an animal's life, you can't replace your life. You could grab some stuff quickly and get out. So hopefully we get a handle on it. Okay. Um, but we'll be here and mopping up. We're, we're at over 173,000 acres. And um, this is the biggest fire registered in history, right? Now, right? Um, it's, it's one of the largest. One of the largest. One of the okay. largest, yes. Because I see helicopters going. Right. Like approximately 30 helicopters that are actively dropping water mm -hmm. on the fire. And then we have about six air tankers, including a 747, a huge plane that is, that is dropping retardant um, on the fire or protecting structures. So what kind of chemicals are those? Because it's, it's like a red dust, yeah, it's, a it's like and a it, mud. And when it sticks, it's like uh, a crayon. It gets like plastic mm -hmm. and then it's got to be peeled off and so forth but it definitely does the trick but it does it does stain and it has to be but it's kind of like a like a crayon and that kind of when you, you peel it off news of the world with captain steve thank, thank you so okay, much captain welcome. and uh, have a great day today and let's hope it's gonna it's not gonna last too long <laughs>